Good afternoon and thank you for your purchase of the Flow Hunter 2. This is a quick setup video. With the Flow Hunter 2 comes standards XDS03 3 meter transducer. Over here we have the power cable coming in to the right of the terminal block. Now over here on the left we have the transducer. It goes into 1 and 2, 1 being the positive which is the core of the coaxial cable that goes to the transducer. Number two would be the shield or the ground. This unit has two 4 to 20 milliamps. The first one is milliamp one using four and five off the terminal block. This is for flow. This is your four to 20 flow output. Over here is milliamp two. This is terminal block seven and eight. This is for your level four to 20 output. Now we're going to go ahead and go into the menu and we're going to do this by hitting the mode button. Until we see password check, we're going to hit set. It's going to say password OK, go to the main menu. We're going to go down to device selection, hit set. Now it's going to go through the devices here and it goes from flumes to weirs. And it goes all the way up to a do-it-yourself curve where you could put up to 10 points. And we go back down. We're going to set this up as a partial flume. Go down to one. We're going to hit set. It goes to a subcategory. And we're going to set it at one foot, which is six, which is flashing over here. But there's 15 options that you could choose from. Everything from one inch all the way up to 12 feet. And we just move up and down. We could change whichever one. We're going to go to number six, which is one foot. We're going to hit set. We're going to hit mode to go back out, but up here where it says device 1-6, 1 is for a partial flume. The 6 is for the subcategory where we picked 1 foot. We're going to hit mode to go to the main menu. Hit down to menu number 4, which is bottom distance. And this is where you put in from the transducer face to zero flow distance. Right here I've got mine set for 5 feet. You can move it by changing it up or down here with the arrows. I'm going to get it back to where I was. Hit set to save it. The number disappears. We're going to move down to number six, which is your flow, flow 4 to 20 milliamp output setting. Hit set. And then the asterisk here next to the 4 milliamp, we're going to hit set. That's going to say zero. That's what we want it to. Hit set to save it. Scroll the asterisk down to the 20 milliamp setting. Hit set, and we're going to set ours at a one and a half foot max head or max span, which is 3,327 gallons per minute in the ESCO boat. And that's what I have set here. Of course, you can change it to whatever you wish with the up and down button. Once you have it, you're going to hit set again. You're going to hit mode to go to the main menu, and then we're going to hit run. And right now the unit should be set up ready to go and you see our gallons per minute 485 and our level is 0.423. I hope you enjoy your Flow Hunter 2 and this concludes the quick setup video. Have a great day.